been getting lots of questions from my vlog viewers about all the cool animals that live in Alaska. So Nina and Mom are taking me to do some research. We'll take photos of the animals and make notes about what we see. Then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll answer viewers' animal questions in my vlog. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Marsh. River. Bears at the river. Let's photograph bears for our notebook. Molly, did you know that bears look for salmon in rivers? They are also excellent swimmers. We need a photo of a bear. Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. A caption gives us information that tells about a picture. Bears You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. Bear Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Bears look in rivers for salmon to eat. Use the colors to draw the picture. If you want to trace the photo you took, use the slider to help you. You can undo if you make a mistake. Did you know, in the Clinket language, the word for brown bear is hoots? Are you done? Tap the check mark. A cut a. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about bears in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about bears. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the air forest. Red foxes in the forest. Let's photograph red foxes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby foxes are called pups or kits? We need a photo of a baby red fox. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby red foxes are called. You picked a photo for the caption. 
captions give information about their matching photos. Baby red foxes are called pups or kits. It Let's add labels that name the different parts of a red fox. Ears. Tap its pointy ears to label them. Tail. Let's muzzle. Neck. Great. Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy. Good. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about red foxes. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about red foxes. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Fjord. Marsh. Cranes in the marsh. Let's photograph cranes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby cranes are called colts? They get their adult feathers when they are about two years old. We need a photo of a baby crane. Great photos. Choose a photo you picked a photo for the caption. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a crane. Beak. Tap its beak to neck. Le wings. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut A. Eh? All done. Wow! We collected some really cool information. Here's my notebook. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Beavers in the marsh. Let's photograph beavers for our notebook. Molly, did you know that beavers can slap their tails on the water to communicate with other beavers? We need a photo of a beaver slapping its tail. Nice photo! You can click more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Beavers can slap their tails to warn other beavers about danger. Are you done? Tap the check mark. Quincy! Good! Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about beavers in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about beavers. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Moose in the marsh. Let's photograph moose for our notebook. Molly, did you know that moose are herbivores? They only eat plants. They often find plants to eat in marshes, which are wet areas of land. Nice photos! You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information. Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Moose often look in marshes for plants to eat.
Are you done? Tap the check mark. A cut A. All done. Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about moose in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned. Choose a place to go and an river. Salmon at the river. Let's photograph salmon for our notebook. Molly, did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? Sometimes when they swim, they jump out of the water. We need a photo of a salmon. Nice photos. Great photos. Choose a... You picked a photo for the caption. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a salmon. Head. Tap. Dorsal fin. Tail. Great. Now you... Quincy. Good. Wow. We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about salmon in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Choose a place to go and an animal. Forest. Fjord. Bald eagles on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph bald eagles for our notebook. Molly, did you know that eagles often nest near the water? That's where they can find lots of fish to eat. Nice photos. You can take... Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Bald e... You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. Bald eagles look... Can you draw a picture to match this caption? Bald eagles look for food along the coast. Are you done? Tap the check mark or tap your drawing to start over. A cut A. All done. Wow, we could.